Hello everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven! We are here in our Montana Ranch Hearthstone Village today getting ready to try once again to breed up the beautiful Pisces and I am so excited because of like a, a, the cherry blossom horse a horse made out of flowers and beautiful pink flowing manes that is just gorgeous i cannot wait to try it, to hurry and get this one of the constellation horses we are doing pretty good with the constellation horses lately we've managed to get the last two i believe and we do have our tier two female so we have a tier two female aquarius from last time as well and she is actually right over here and we haven't had any luck being able to get um um, yeah, no luck being able to get another tier 2 horse or tier 3 Aquarius just yet. But that is a project we will be able to work on because we do happen to have a male and a female Aquarius. So yay! That part of last month, so I guess last celestial seasons? I'm not really sure how to... The last constellation horse is covered, so we don't have to worry about that. And we're trying to get this one, and I don't think there's any other special events going on right now. What's over here at the little... Um, Let's see, it looks like uh, coming up at the 4th of March is going to be the Libra on sale. We actually didn't get a Libra, but I like to try to breed for our horses instead. Any special events going on? Nope. Just promotion bonuses. Let's go ahead and see what the daily... Oh, yeah! We harvested 20 carrot pies, you guys. It was totally... Oh, that rhymed. 20 carrot pies, you guys. It was totally unexpected, so I was surprised. But we managed to get a whole bunch of experience when we do these types of quests. They're definitely worth looking into if you're having trouble leveling up. It's just doing some of these quests. The daily quests often don't give you a ton of experience points, but they're still really nifty. So we might have to look into these. What's this? Own a level 3 Grand Stable in Montana. Ooh, that one's worth a little bit. Buy a female horse from the German market. Oh my gosh. We need to try that out sometime when we have a open stall because that would give us a good chunk of experience for pretty much no effort. So let's see. And then daily quest, we've collected 500 coins. We need to sell eight soybeans, clean out the paddock twice, run the Brazilian steeplechase seven times, which could be any steeplechase I find. It works for any of them. And harvest eight carrot pies. I think I was trying to get carrots like up and going earlier for this, and I'm not sure if I accomplished that in time. But let's go ahead and clear out the paddock then. Yay! Even if we can't complete the daily quest, we can at least handle this much. There we go. And we'll clear this out. There we go. Lots of grass. Gotta get that. A little bit of poop. Okay, whoops. And now we're... <laughs> Bailey! Yay, you leveled up! Look at you, my shaggy boy. Alright, let's see if we can get him a better jump boost. Come on, jump boost. Come on, jump boost. That's what we want for him. Jump boost, jump boost, jump boost. Yes! Alright! Look at that! So Bailey actually just got to level his skills up. I love when that happens. Oh, that's so fantastic. So there you go, Bailey. Congratulations. We've just kind of been leveling him up because why not? Um, though we're no longer breeding actively for the Capricorn, so I probably should plan to put him away pretty soon. Good. Cleaned out the paddock. Let's check what's in the mail. Yay! Thank you so much to you guys for hiring me as your stable hand. Thank you so much to Theodore and all of the unknown people for coming by to visit our village. Yay! Social breeding rewards. All right. Let's see. Yep. Steeple chase. That's fine. All right. Now we're starting to get some new friend requests because as you guys know, because you ask every every time, so listen carefully, if you want to be friends on Horsehaven, we must both be playing on Android devices and we have to be Facebook friends. And you can find a link to my Facebook in the video description below. And after we're Facebook friends and if we're both playing on Android devices, which means if you're playing on an iPhone or an iPad, we can't be friends because of the way the game's coded. But if you're not, then we can become friends and it's so much fun. All right, Theodore and so many unknown people, thank you for coming by and petting our horses. Miranda, thank you for stopping by too, helping everything out. Is that good? All right, good. And then we go ahead and do this. And is that all the mail? Yep, that's fine. And almost. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, yay! All right, it's done. All right, the mail is cleared up. Who is this little baby in here? It is a new Aquarius full. Hello, little one. And we're actually going to go ahead and send Poppy the boy out on his way. So we're going to sell him for 10 diamonds because he is a tier one Aquarius. And we actually have the Aquarius is that we need, which reminds me, we need to come over here. Doris! Hello, Doris! Hello, precious. But we need to come over to Doris, and we're actually getting ready to sell her for diamonds. Um, because we already have a, a higher tier, a tier 2 female Aquarius. So let's go ahead. We're going to very gently remove all of the gear. 
There you go, sweetie. And we won't be sad because we're saying she's retiring. So we'll let her stay for a little bit longer till I need that spot. But we are gonna we are gonna just say she's gonna be retiring. Alright. And here is Storm, and Storm is going to be taking her place as the tier two Aquarius female that we will use to try to breed up for the tier three Aquarius. Because I like having those little challenges. There we go. So there you go. You are now wearing the mantle of uh, the Aquarius female in charge. There you go, Storm. It's a heavy burden. I hope you're up to it. Man, she looks beautiful in that outfit. That's really cool. All right, there we go. Phew, a lot going on, a lot going on. And let's see, let's go ahead and collect that. And then let's actually go over to the German ranch really quickly because we are trying to breed up for the Pisces. So that's one of the first things we're gonna do. All right. Oh, I love how much. Oh, I love this place. I forgot how cool it looks. How we just decked everything out. It looks awesome in my opinion. Oh, fantastic. All right. Let's collect all of the money and let's come over. We need to clean out the paddock. There we go. There's a little diamond. Diamond. Hello, diamonds. There we go. There, a nice clean paddock. We actually, holy days, there's just diamonds rolling down the hill from the mines today apparently, like flooding our fields. I have no problem picking diamonds up out of my yard. That's totally fine by me. So over here where we are working on building up a really big and awesome little like gym fountain surrounded by the constellation horse uh, little snow globes. I really like these. Are you, are you on? I think the Capricorn crystal is on. They're so pretty. We got an emerald and some diamonds and we have some coins from our mines. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna dive back into the mines. There we go, get those going. Eventually when we have some free diamonds, we need to come over and upgrade this mine as well. And let's see, I need to make room because this Dutch warm blood we could actually keep and use to breed so we can try to get the Pisces. So I think we actually need to go ahead and it's time to say goodbye to Idana who is a Frisian that we've just kind of been raising on the side. So we'll go ahead and sell her. And then we're gonna go ahead and put Iben here, down over here. And I'm gonna name him, let's name him Oak. Let's name him Oak, Oak Heart, there you go. And Oak Heart, we are going to send straight over, do do do, on the train to the USA Ranch. So that he will be our shot at trying to breed up for a Pisces at the USA Ranch, and that way we can spread the horses through the three different um, three different ranches like we have done in the past, and then have three shots every day at trying to breed for a Pisces if we have enough friends who we can breed the horses with, who are like what we need. So we need to find other friends who have both the Australian Brumby and the Dutch Warmblood, and then we try breeding those for this beautiful, beautiful girl or boy. Oh man, that's gonna be so fun. It's a fun little challenge. I like the breeding game challenge of it. All right, and so what else is going on over here? Karine, you're looking awesome as usual. Emilda, we're raising up. Charm, we're raising up. So those two we're trying to raise up. Here's Night Candy. Um, yeah, I think it's actually Charm here. Oh no, I need more apples, who we're raising to try to get enough diamonds to be able to sell her because the um, mythic level what is she? She's a mythic level Black Arabian, and they are worth a lot. Because if you come over here and look at Night Candy, he's actually at level 11, and he's worth 100 diamonds, <laughs> which is which is like more than some of our highest tier constellation horses. So that's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. All right, but let's go ahead and take Kareen, and let's see if we can find a Dutch warm blood. And let's visit Laura's ranch. I'm just gonna try to see what our options are. Scout out those of you who might already have these horses available, which tend to be the higher level players, which is why I check them first. But we will check the others. So nope, no, none here. Some really handsome, um, really handsome horses though. All right, so let's come over here. Is this one of our unknown friends? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is Laura, Laura. Oh, wow, all right. So here are some of the Aquarius. So here is a tier two female Aquarius at the French ranch over here that we could visit with. Oh, and the little, like, the little phone booth and the carriage. Oh, look at this, very nice. I like how the orchard is surrounded by fencing too. That's very nice, I like it. All right, let's see how the German ranch is doing. We'll see if there are any Oh, 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 I think some of these guys, 
All right, here's a Dutch warm blood. Here we go. So here's a Dutch warm blood, and here is an Australian Brumby named Bella. And over here is, oh my goodness, it's kind of the same setup. Hanoverians and a mythic ranked Arabian horse. So yeah, there's a there's a few that we could use here. I like how this one has like the boots on and it's got the mask on, but not the saddle because that actually looks kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to try breeding up against this male Dutch warm blood because it's the right lineup. And there you go, Corrine. And hopefully we'll end up with that 9%. So we're going for the pink this time, you guys. That's what we're trying to cheer for. We want the pink. Come on, little Pisces. Come on. Pink, 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 pink. Keep going. Stop, stop, stop. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes! That's the second try this time around, too! Second try once again, and we have it! Oh my goodness, I am so excited! Okay, so tomorrow, Xavier, a male Pisces, is going to be born. Tier 1. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome, you guys! Thank you so much, Laura. I did not expect that, so that was, that was more than a little bit exciting. <laughs> It just landed perfectly on the pink there. Well, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. We're going to celebrate with some fireworks. Yay! I'm still so proud of having built this area. I really like it. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, oh, and you might notice we have a new little uh, new little bench over here. This is the... Oh, what is it called again? The stump table. Imagine that. It's the stump table. But it is from the store when I needed to spend some diamonds. And so I spent some diamonds buying that. We have the Pisces. It's going to be born here. Oh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. All right. Well, oh man. That really makes things a lot easier for us. We might go visit some of your guys' ranches in just a second. Let's just spend a little bit of time tidying up over here and bringing a new baby Leo into the world. So here is a tier three Leo, which is very, very exciting. And actually we can try to breed up, um, not for a Pisces on this ranch, but oh, hey, there's a new person. Let's go visit the new person just to say hello. Hello, Sammy Bello, whose favorite horse is Jinx. Let's go and visit. Toss a toss an invitation over there. It's fun to add up our friends in Horse Haven. All right, invitation sent, rank 31. Nice carrots. Oh, somebody is eating the carrots. <laughs> this little Icelandic elite is just got her nose in there and it looks like she's trying to eat the carrots. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Very nice horses. We can't really interact with them right now because we're not friends yet, but we can look at them. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Nice thatch roofing on all of the French stables there. Keeping everything nice and tight. Gotta let the forest uh, grow. I approve. It's really hard for me to cut down the forest, actually. I know that's silly. And then very nice. Lots of cherries and grapes growing over here. Wonderful. Very nice to meet you, Sammy. All right. So let's pop back over to our place. And what we can work on over here, other than cleaning the paddock up, let's see if these horses tend to leave a bunch of diamonds no, doesn't look like it. I guess that really is just a thing that happens in our German ranch because the diamonds roll down the mountain from our mines. All right, and let's see. I've got some of the, the little carrot cake there. I have a little bit more carrot cake. Can I, like, rush it? All right, we're asking Shannon, Cheyenne, and Dylan to come over and to try to help us with that carrot cake in time. I don't know if it's going to work because you only have, like, so much time to do the daily quest. Yeah, five hours remaining. We might be able to pull that off. And then let's sell eight soybeans. And we'll just be able to complete at least a few of those things. All right. Oh my gosh, I have so much orange feed. Why can't the horses ask for that? Oh no, and I only have... Whoa, not this again. There we go. I only have eight soybeans, so I'm going to have to sell all eight of them. All right. Off you go, soybeans. Dun, dun, dun. And quest complete. There we go, you guys. So there's that. And let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and send these guys out into the paddock for now so that they can gain a whole bunch of skill, little experience points. So off you guys go, off you guys go. More experience to be gained. And we also have Stargaze still, so we are going to rename her daughter. In fact, I had a name picked out. Um, I think it was like... Starburn is a really popular name for this one right here who's like Viola or Vivian right now for Vilma. Oh man, Vilma. 
I hadn't noticed you leveled up. I would have gone over to see what you got. But yeah, Vilma is probably going to be our new female Leo that we keep because she has the best stats out of any of the horses we have right now. Um, but we'll go ahead and take care of her in just a second. Let's come over here. Hey, buddy. Hey, Uncas. You want some carrot or some grapes? We'll go ahead and go get Uncas some grapes too. Oh yeah, and I was coming here to pick apples. That's what I was doing. And then we'll try breeding Uncas against one of the female female Aquariuses that some of our friends have. Because now we know that Laura has one and I know that Skull Candy has one, I think. And so we'll go and visit with them in just a minute. Let's come over here. I'm gonna feed you some apples. Cause little charm, you have beautiful eyes, and the sooner we get you up to level 10, the sooner we can get a lot of diamonds. And it's very important, um, I like to think that raising the horses for diamonds is kind of like training them, you know, in quotation marks. So it feels like we're trying to, uh, when we raise them for diamonds, we're training horses and then selling them so they can go find an awesome home. All right, so we're gonna need a lot more of the granola bars. So off you go, Night Candy. You're going with Anastasia, uh, Latasha, and an unknown person to wander around the paddock for a little bit. And I'm gonna pick some grapes really quickly because grapes are requested from one of our Leos. Or no, it requested from Uncas, our constellation. He's the, the Aquarius? Yeah, Aquarius constellation. I'm gonna learn so much about constellations just from trying to keep all of the horses organized in my mind. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, Uncas. You're doing good. You're almost up to level 10. So we're raising you up for a lot of diamonds, even though, even though we've already got your sister who's a tier two. There we go. So he's a good boy. All right. And let's go ahead and take him over. Do, 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 do. And we'll visit Skull Candy really quickly because I think she has a tier three. And I'm not sure if she still has it, but if she does, it's better to try to breed with a tier three than another tier two. There it is. Oh my gosh, the Pisces. Oh my gosh, look how many she has already. <gasps> They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm so envious. Look at all this. This is just all amazing. It's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. She's like the master horse breeder. Look at this. Here's a male, a Lumia, a Lu Allium, Allium, there we go. And Peony, two males, oh my gosh. And here's Triton, so this is a male tier three. Okay, so that's fine. All right, oh my goodness, all right. Let's go visit, let's try another unknown person really quickly. We're just gonna see if there's any other higher tier Aquariuses. And if not, then it's totally fine. We'll go back over to Laura's place. Looks like everybody here is actually off being trained. So let's go down the list and just make sure that's the case. I do that too when I like get on. I'm like, okay, everybody out to the paddocks. All right. No idea who this person is named, but they've got some pretty good horses. And they're training a bunch of them. Oh, and that beautiful fountain and flowers. You gotta love hanging out with flowers. All right, so let's go back to Laura's place because I know that she has the female tier two. And so we'll try breeding with the female tier two. I need to remember where it's at. Is it in the French ranch? I think it's at the French Ranch. I can't believe Skull Candy has already managed to get the Pisces. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. So Venus and Uncas. And we're going to go ahead and pure breed. And we have a 9% chance at Jazz. Or, let's see. I think it's I think it's just, yeah, a shot at a tier 2 right there. So that's a good thing. All right, come along, come along. Pink, pink, pink. Oh, no. We're not going to have the same repeat of luck that we had earlier. And that's A-OK. -okay. All right. So thank you so much, Laura. That was really fun being able to try to breed with her horses. And there. Now we've got pretty much everybody busy, everybody sorted, everybody happy. I just need to, like, har like harvest? I need to bake more pie. And we can try breeding these guys because it's going to be a little bit before the Dutch warm blood little boy uh, shows up here. So let's go ahead and we'll try one more time over here. So Nereus is our male and we're going to be taking Storm, our female, pure breeding. There's a slightly larger chance for a tier two here. Unfortunately, it would be another female, but you just kind of have to roll with it once things start moving. Oh, right. And so now we've got another female tier one coming in a couple, in a day and a little bit after. So no luck there, but that's okay. We had a lot of luck elsewhere. And I'm going to harvest up this grass and then plant more grass because a few of my horses are requesting grass. 
So there we go, you guys. That is everything for today. We got to visit a few people. Next time we'll try to visit a lot of people who are lower down on the ranks because some of you have said you're around level 13, 14, and you would love to see me pop by and I would love to go see you too. It would be so much fun. All right, let me put everything here. There we go. I'm just gonna put this corn away. There, got everything nice and tidy. Cleaned up the paddocks, train in the horses. Actually, we have a lot of this blue feed. <laughs> If Doris, if you want blue feed, I have more than enough to offer you. Trust me, darling. So you can have some. And I'll let Doris stick around just a little bit longer. Because why not? Because we've got the space for you right now, Doris. Alright, and then who else wanted the blue feed? Our little pony! Who we need to make room for too? Fauna! Man, you guys want a lot of blue feed, but I need space so in my storage, so this works out perfectly. All right, I know you're so cute too with those big shaggy mane covering your little eyes. All right, there we go. There we go. And let's wrap up the day by doing our little trivia challenge to see what's going on at the quiz stand. All right, the record for the highest jump by a horse was set in 1949. What was it? Um, I'm gonna go with the biggest one, eight feet. No, nah! it's eight feet and 1.25 inches, not 9.12 inches. All right. Which is the name of a real life horse breed? Um, Bojan, um, Cthulhu. <laughs> um, this one? Ah, dang it. It was the one that sounded like uh, donuts or something. In the game, what is the name of the German horse ranch? That is this one right here. Ding! All right, so we were given like a couple, just just like two cherries as a reward today, but that is A-OK. -okay. So all right, you guys, we have had some excellent luck. We will be having the Pisces baby showing up in a couple days and I'll be able to show it off to you guys. I'm super excited about that. And we will continue to try to breed up for more of the rare horses, raise our horses for diamonds, and hopefully be able to participate in whatever really fun events will be showing up in the future. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye.